Hello, my name is Mooncat and welcome to my walkthrough of Town or Banquet 2 in the Fellowship event. In this video I will show you my complete step-by-step -step walkthrough of Town 2, which is the same as Town 5, 8, 11 and so on. As usual, you can find a written version of this guide in my event spreadsheet, and I also have an event tutorial and strategy guide for this event, both in video and written formats, which are also linked in the description. And one final thing before I begin, this content takes quite a long time to make, so if you find it helpful, please leave a like and a comment and share it with your friends and guildmates, it really does help me out. Out. As I mentioned in my town one walkthrough, I will be using the FOE Helper strategy checklist to help me out. If you are on a browser and have the extension installed, you can copy my strategy list linked in the description and pinned comment, paste it into the helper, and it will show you step by step what you need to do directly in a game. In this video, you will see me use it in action on the right side of the screen. Alright, let's begin the town by unlocking the spice building and buying the required managers called overseers in this event. My recommendations for this town is to get banquet to level 3, carriage to level 3, and spice to level 1. Now your first goal is to level spice up to level 25. This will not take long at all, only a minute or so. After that, you should level both your banquet and carriage to level 10. When that is completed, you will get your first upgrade task, and you'll have enough feast rations to unlock the juice building. Upgrade the manager to level 3, and then upgrade the building to level 5. Then it's back to the banquet and carriage, upgrading them both to level 25. And then it's back to upgrading Jews to level 25 as well. After that you should level the banquet and carriage again to level 50, and you should do so at the same time. You don't have to be too precise, I usually just keep max selected and go back and forth between them until both are level 50. When that is done, you should get Spice to level 50 as well, and now your first small wait starts. A minute or so later, you can unlock the farm and upgrade the manager to level 1. You will now get your next upgrade task. First, you should get the farm up to level 5 to increase your production, and then you should level Banquet and Carriage to level 100, again roughly at the same time. Next you should go back to the farm, getting it up to level 31. You should now upgrade the juice to level 50, and spice to level 100, which will only take a few seconds. Make sure to collect the task reward, and you will get your next upgrade task, this one to upgrade buildings 100 times. This you will complete by upgrading carriage and banquet to level 150, and once again you should do it both at the same time. And again, you don't have to keep them absolutely level all the time, just go back and forth between them. Alright, now you have to wait 5 or so minutes, and then you can unlock the bakery and get the manager to level 2. You should now upgrade bakery to level 9, and then carriage to level 189, which might sound quite strange, but the idea here is that by leveling carriage to 189 first, you're able to stockpile feast rations on the western side of the town, so by the time you have leveled your banquet to level 200, which is your next target, you will have a lot of feast rations to collect quickly. Level 199 seems to be the sweet spot for the carriage, any lower and you won't stockpile enough feast rations, and any higher you will stockpile too much. Anyways, after getting carriage to level 189, you should fully level banquet to level 200 before going back to finish off the last 11 levels of the carriage to get that to level 200 as well. As you can see, that stockpile was almost enough to level the carriage instantly. Now, because we leveled the bakery to level 9 earlier, we also have stockpiled a lot of feast rations on the other side, so we can now unlock the butchery building instantly. And here you should get the manager to level 2. You should now take a quick detour and level bakery to level 25, should only take a minute or so. You should also level the juice to level 100 to complete this task before going back to the butchery to get it up to level 14. 
it's now back to the banquet and carriage and once again we will start with the carriage upgrading it to level 235 this time after getting carriage to level 235 you should fully upgrade banquet to level 250 while doing that you will complete this task to collect 15 trillion feast rations which you should collect immediately so you can start on the next upgrade task after getting banquet to 250 it's back to the carriage upgrading it to level 250 as well when that is complete, it is time to move back to the butchery, getting it up to level 32. After that, you should get the farm to level 100, and then spies to level 200, both to complete tasks. Alright, you have now completed what I call the start of the town, which as you can see took just over 2 hours. Now we come into the first truly long phase of the town, where your goal is to level your banquet and carriage to level 300. This will take you just under 14 hours to achieve, but luckily hardly any of that is actively playing. You just have to log in every now and then to upgrade. Now, this time we are actually doing yet another variation of leveling the buildings. First you should get Banquet to level 265, and then the Carriage to level 288. The idea here is the same, you want to stockpile feast rations by leveling Carriage first, but before that you also want a few levels in Banquet to boost up the collection rate while doing so. Anyways, after that it is back to the Banquet, but only up to 270 at first. When you hit that mark you should wait until you have collected 15 trillion feast rations from the farm, which should take you roughly another four and a half hours. After collecting that, you get your final upgrade task, so you can now continue on the banquet, getting it up all the way to level 300. After that, it is time to bring your carriage to level 300 as well. Then it's time to level butchery to level 50 for this task, but also to produce enough feast rations. And then you basically just want to choose the cheapest option each time to complete the remaining upgrades you need for this upgrade task. As you can see, I did it by getting Bakery to level 55, Farm to 105, and Juice to 155. Alright, now all that remains is to collect 8.4 quadrillion feast rations, which will take around 6 hours and 40 minutes. During that time, you will complete this task to gather juice, make sure to collect that and the next task, but then you are done, and once you have 8.4 quadrillion feast rations, you can complete the town. As you can see here, I did it in just over 23 hours, but don't worry, the event is long, and depending on your strategy, it's very unlikely you will need to complete towns anywhere close to this quickly. For more on that though, check out my strategy video and written guide, and also make sure to check out my walkthrough for the other two towns. All of that and much more you can find a link in the description. And that's it for my town 2 walkthrough, I hope this was helpful, and I hope it gave you a better idea of how to play in this minigame. Before we end this video, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting my content. I would like to thank Homestar, Lorden, Kim Kelly, Corp the Eighth, Dan Simnad, Chanti, Hecate, Dark Matter, Mylia, Sierra K, Merit B, Hugo Count von Count, Drew the Genuous, Susan Weiss, Rocco, Sparkle No Remorse, Merthen Emrys, Atomic, Travis the Avenger, Arkler, Jibber, Whiskey Meister, Henrik der Klemmerberg, Adarel, Mike, Opti the Obsessed, Ruth, Karen, Dennis, Travis Belisarius, Stampe, Podger, and Mishjak. 77. Thanks a lot for your support, thanks for watching, take care and have fun in the event.